Welcome to another video from DIY Daily. Just put a short video together today, just showing you a fix for a common issue on this 2017 Ford Focus, and it's the one liter Eco Boost. Now it's becoming quite a common issue this, and it is an issue that could lead you down quite an expensive route, and it's actually quite a cheap fix to do it. So it's not to say that it's always this, but it's definitely well worth checking it. So we'll just show you. Um, we're using the top down diagnostic machine again. We've already done a full scan on it, and the, the fault code that we've got stored in the engine ECU is PO299, PO299 turbocharger under boost fault. So I'll just show you now what we found the fault to be and how to replace it. The issue that we're having when driving is sometimes the engine lights on, sometimes it goes off. It's, the fault's not always there, but sometimes we're having it where it's not boosting and it's like in limp mode. Turn it off, back on, it's cleared the fault out. But let's just get outside now and run you through it. Right, so just coming under the bonnet, I'll just give you a quick run through. Basically, we've got the turbo at the front here, the wastegate's there, we've got some vacuum pipes to the wastegate, then we've got the vacuum pump here, and basically some pipe work there to a solenoid. Now, there are quite a lot of checks that you can do on the pipe work. You can use, uh, obviously, we're using a meter vac here. This is quite an handy bit of kit. I'll put a link to these in the description below. We can use this for testing vacuum, so you can pump up and, and draw a vacuum to test some of the pipes, make sure they're sealed. Now, basically, the fault that we've got with this one on the pump, now Ford, only supply this as part of the whole vacuum pump, which is quite expensive. Now, if you check out the links in the description below, I put a link to these little valves and where you can get them from separately. So. So you can see it's a really little valve there, a dead cheap, and it's nice and easy to replace. All you need to do is just simply a Torx 25 bolt, undo the clamp there, you can pull the pipe off and swap it over. But basically the way to test this, we're just going to pinch that up, pull it off, and put the mitty back on it. We might just take it off at this end to do it, and we'll just see what it's drawing. Now on the vacuum gauge, really it should draw at least sort of 20 to 25. Um, when we tested this before, it was around about five to sort of seven and a half. So I'll just pull that off now, set the MITI back up, strike it up, and just show you what it's drawing straight out of the vacuum pump. See there, it's quite erratic and it's not really drawing a very good vacuum. So I'll just swap the valve over now and just show you what it's drawing after we've fitted the new valve. So now that we've took it out, we can see straight away what's happened. The actual, the actual valve has dropped apart, and actually in there is part of the part of the valve there. So we're just going to pick all that out, and then we'll swap it over and put the new one in. So the valve swapped over now, you can see it's real nice and easy. I just put a little bit of oil on the seal just to help it go in a bit easy, that's all. We'll just strike it up now and just show you the new reading on the MITI back. But obviously we could see the valve had completely collapsed, which just guarantees that that's uh, definitely the problem. Okay, it should be, should be getting a good steady picking on there, so it's not quite so rapid. 
what we're going to do is just turn that off now, just give it a quick road test and just make sure I've definitely picked it up. Right, so we've just got back from a five mile road test. It's running absolutely spot on now. It's boosting all the time. Didn't shut down at all once. I've just got back, just done a full code scan with the top down scanner again. Um, we just can just see that the engine ECU is all clear there. No fault codes in it. So it's a nice little fix just for the sake of that little one way valve. It's just collapsed there. And so four don't do it separately. You have to buy a whole new vacuum pump for the sake of this little valve that you can get for about a tenner. I'll say I'll put the link in the description below to where you can get it from. But it's really easy to check and replace as well. So just thought I'd put the video together. A nice little tip, save you going down the wrong route. Obviously it might mislead someone into replacing the actual turbo itself. So but yeah, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.